one. Making sense of the verdict. Let's watch it. We have a verdict in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. And like everything in the trial itself, it's controversial. The jury ruled in favor of Johnny Depp oh. in his libel suit against Amber Heard. Depp sued his former wife for writing about she being a no domestic abuse on. victim because he said he never abused her. The jury awarded mm -hmm. Depp fifteen million dollars in damages, ten million in compensatory damages, and five million dollars in punitive damages. That's a lot damages. of money. The jury also ruled in favor of Amber Heard on one of her counterclaims against Depp. She alleged that Depp directed a smear campaign against her, having his ex-lawyer saying she fabricated the evidence of her abuse. The jury awarded her $2 million in compensatory damages mm -hmm. and nothing in punitives. So why. at the end of the day, they both win. Hooray! Wow. No, but seriously, how can they both have defamed each other? Let's dig into this verdict. I just, I can't get over. It's like Jim quit the paper company and he became a lawyer doesn't this guy remind you so much of jim like i just i i can't i i just i can't fucking get over it man like i think like, the moment i saw it i was like oh my god no really holy shit yeah who's jim from the office now, first of all, and I, I hate that I have to say this, Here we go. no one is going to jail. This is a civil case, and no one is guilty. People are liable in a civil case. They are not guilty or not guilty, despite what some putative law professor has said. This is a civil yeah. trial. There's no guilt involved. Now, in fairness, about half the states do have a mm -hmm. criminal defamation statute, including Virginia, but this is not one of those cases. It's just two people suing each other. The state is not involved. But yeah. as you probably know, here we have two public figures suing each other for defamation, and of when course. you have celebrities, you generally have a higher standard of proof to make your claim. The law makes it difficult for public people to win a defamation suit, even if a published story contains inaccuracies. In order for a public figure to win, the jury has to find Wait, that was another made statements about them with actual... Wait, that was... In order for a public figure to win, the jury has oh, to find wait. the Oh my god. To cast wife Peter Depp and Bob. What is this, man? It's like they're not even... It's like you're not even trying to hide it. You know what I mean? Holy shit. Accuracies. In order for a public figure to win, the jury has to find that the defendant what made statements like, about them. How do they do shit amounts, over there, Britain? Like, that's nuts. Means, uh, knowledge of the falsity, or at a minimum, a reckless disregard mm -hmm. for the truth of the yeah, statement. Yeah, they don't give Nothing a fuck. to do with animosity. Now, as you probably know, Amber Heard wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post that contained these sentences. Quote, then two years ago, mm -hmm. I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. And quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse. We saw now, this. Johnny Depp challenged these sentences and also the headline written Especially by the Washington Post Especially the headline. Itself. Quote, Amber Heard colon, I spoke up about sexual violence yeah. and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. Depp sued Heard alleging these sentences were defamatory. And during closing arguments, Heard's lawyer told the jury that if they believe Depp abused her even one time, that he cannot prove defamation. If Amber was abused by Mr. Depp even one time, then she wins. Now, during deliberations, the jury had to evaluate the evidence that they heard. I love how whenever they asked the question, the only question they had was, can we consider the headline as part of it? Because you knew that, like, that, yeah, it, the thing is, like, she explicitly said sexual violence, right? That's what it was over the yeah. six-week trial and apply the jury instructions given to them by the judge. With Depp's defamation claims, mm -hmm. they were looking at instruction C, which you can see here. So the jury had to decide whether Heard made or republished any of these statements. These were false statements, mm -hmm. whether they harmed his reputation and whether Amber Heard acted with actual malice. Oh, of course. They answered yes. Yes, she said or republished these words. Yes, they were false. And yes, they hurt his reputation. The jury likely decided everything that Amber Heard said about abuse was false and that she did it with reckless disregard for the truth. And as a result, John Depp sustained about $15 million in damages, $10 million in compensatory damages, which is meant to compensate him for the damage that he actually suffered, it's as not well enough, as $5 million really. in punitives. Even though he's not going to pay it anyway. Amber Heard for her statements. Yeah. And the judge cut the punitives down to $350,000, bringing the total to $10.35 million. Now, those That's are obviously large numbers, but it kind of makes sense in the context of Johnny Depp. He is a famous movie star, and he yeah, alleges, probably truthfully, that these allegations have really hurt his career, and 
and hurt his ability to make millions and millions Any of dollars. Any reasonable so person it's entirely can say possible that, that yeah. he lost $10 million as a result of the statements that I, Amber Heard I made. I think it's a lot and more. And given the general nature of Heard's statements, the fact that the jury found in Depp's favor probably means that the jury likely didn't believe any of Heard's substantive claims. Yeah, I wonder abuse. why. Now, some have argued that Heard got a raw deal because her column did not mention Depp by name. But Depp successfully argued that it was an example of what's called defamation by implication because of parts course. of the column referred to the allegations of abuse that she made against him following their breakup in 2016. And it's probably fair to say that the general public knew about Heard's connection to Depp and that they would have assumed that the allegations made in the op-ed referred to Depp because of that connection. And Well, it's just what I said, right? It's like if somebody shits in the bathroom and then the next day the manager holds an emergency meeting about um, bathroom hygiene and practices, everybody knows that the meeting is because of the shit. He doesn't have to say that it's because of the shit because everybody knows it. It's obvious. Or on a bed. That she was directing yeah, those statements at Johnny Depp. And there's plenty of law on this. This is not unusual for a defamation by implication case. And that takes us to Amber Heard's counterclaims. You'd think that if Heard defamed Depp, then mm -hmm. they would dismiss Heard's claims and that would be the end of the story. That would be it. But what fun would that be? As you know, uh, the jury also found that Depp defamed Heard. But it looks like that relates to a statement uh, only tangentially related to the main abuse. Bro, system. imagine that's your life. Like, you just have people constantly following you around, like, spamming you with fucking flashes. That's just, it's so... Like, how is this legal? Like, yeah, it's like a flashbang. Yeah, it's like, imagine if you have epilepsy. I go crazy. Yeah, I know. Like, I don't... Yeah, it's like you have stream snipers in real life. And you can never turn off the stream. Should be, yeah, it should be illegal. Now, after Depp oh. sued Heard in 2021, she filed a counterclaim against him. She said that Depp so directed weird, man. his ex-lawyer, Adam Waldman, to make defamatory statements about her, uh -huh. including these three. Statement A, quote, Amber Heard and her friends in the media used fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and a shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as a sword, inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Statement B, quote, quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first step didn't do the truth. Trick. The officers came to the penthouses, thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to face or property. Damn. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed up the place, got their stories straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911. Statement C, quote, We have reached the beginning of the end of Miss Hurd's abuse hoax against Mr. Depp. And the jury reviewed the evidence and with respect to at least one of these statements believed that that was the case. Specifically, they decided that statement B, the long paragraph about a specific incident was false. The main facts about that incident were relayed to the It's jury. hard to say if it's false. And I think the reason why they said it was false was because of the fact that it implicated other people. I think. By Heard and her friends, the very same people that the jury found had completely made up things in order to hurt yeah. Depp. Now, we'll need to hear from the jury to understand exactly what they were thinking, but Probably we can a compromise, presume that the yeah. jury reviewed the evidence and concluded that Amber Heard and her friends didn't orchestrate an abuse hoax on that occasion. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't spill wine or rough up the place. They didn't work uh, with a lawyer or publicist. They might not have gotten their stories straight. Uh, if this is what the jury meant, then they could be claiming that the underlying incident is still based on a lie, uh -huh. but that Heard orchestrated the lie in a different way, or that she was lying about Fixable. other things and no. not this thing. But at the end of the day, the jury awarded $2 million to her for this particular falsity. These same jurors probably found that she acted with actual malice in concocting a hoax that included fake bruises and fake tears and fake claims. And thus statements A and C were therefore not defamatory, only statement B, which referred to a very specific uh, tangential Yeah, incident. of course. So both Depp and Heard were awarded compensatory damages. These are things that are meant to compensate a plaintiff to be in the same position that they would be if they weren't injured. Uh, things like financial losses, medical bills, lost income, and reduced earning potential. And a damage award can also consider non-monetary losses as well, like emotional pain, emotional distress, pain, loss of upsetting All of those somebody. Would be considered compensatory damages. Yeah. But Johnny Depp was awarded punitive damages as well, which are designed to warn others and punish like, this particular bitch. defendant. They are assessed when a jury Don't wants do to punish that someone shit. who acted totally outside the bounds of appropriate conduct. And they're only available in Virginia if the defendant has acted wantonly, oppressively, or with such malice as to evince a spirit of malice or criminal indifference to civil obligations. I think that really goes to show how they really felt about her, you know what I mean? Yeah, that goes to show how they actually felt about her. They said that she was, yeah, she, she was doing this 
just to fuck with them and she yeah that that's all there was to it yeah yeah that i think that really indicates how they really feel but the pause, in Virginia, yeah. punitive damages are capped at $350,000 by right. statute. Now, the jury found that Amber Heard had defamed Johnny Depp That's and that why they conduct lowered satisfied it. the very high standard for punitive damages. Now, they awarded him a lot of money, $5 million in punitive damages, it's a lot of but money. the judge reduced that damages award to $350,000 as statute. required yeah. by statute. Now, yeah. the, the jury wouldn't have known that going into deliberations How to could make they sure know that, that they don't uh, shift all of the punitive damages into the compensatory damages award uh, they but should've. after the verdict was reached the judge capped the amount that was required by law tangentially you might also hear lawyers referring yeah, guys, to the state has to farm pay standard eight where uh, punitive damages are uh, capped as a matter of constitutional law uh, that's a supreme court case that doesn't apply here there, there was a specific statute in virginia that limited punitive damages to three hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars that doesn't really implicate the, the sure. state farm supreme court case that being said, uh, after the punitive damages were capped, Johnny Depp uh, was entitled to $10.35 million. Yes, only $8 Though million. Amber Heard Guys, was only awarded million. $2 million in compensatory damages uh, related to the statement B that we just talked about, mm -hmm. netting uh, Johnny Depp uh, $8.35 million at the end of the day. So what's next? Can Johnny Depp sue the Washington Post? Well, sure, but it's incredibly unlikely that he'd win. You can sue anyone for anything. At Why don't you sue the ACLU? That's what I'd want. Yeah, sue the ACLU. I'd like that. That'd be fucking great. Uh, fuck the Washington Post. Like, they're not going to do anything. It's the ACLU, man. Time. There's no reason to believe that the Washington Post would yeah, have Yeah, they known, enabled it. Uh, they were the, the ones that made it happen. The statements. And on top of that, the Washington Post simply published Amber Heard's article. Mm -hmm. uh, the only part of the article that was written by the Washington Post was the headline, Amber Heard colon, I spoke up about sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, which oh, of more or less summarizes the things that Amber Heard actually said. So good luck proving knowledge of falsity or recklessness with respect to the truth by the Washington Post itself. Though given that the article is Very still true. online, Depp it's might sue for an injunction to take that article down. But by that same token, could Amber Heard sue the ACLU? The Washington Post published Heard's op-ed, but the ACLU helped her write it. Heard had promised to donate seven million dollars from her divorce settlement to. I don't to think charities, that she could. The ACLU, and so far, uh, she's only paid the ACLU part of that money. Part she of claimed it. Claimed that they did a bad 5%. job of ghostwriting the op-ed. Maybe negligence. Well, again, you can sue anyone for anything at any time. Sure, this is theoretically possible, but it would be extremely. I, she put her name on it. There's no way that they're negligent to that. There's like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like there's no shot that. That's gonna happen. Like literally, it no shot. Probably doomed. Though more tenuous arguments have been made. Maybe Heard will use it to try and claw back some of her donation. Who knows? Complete speculation. But what about an appeal of the jury's verdict? Amber Heard True. has vowed to appeal, and even though True. Depp was also found to have defamed Heard, Depp was not surprisingly very pleased with the verdict. Depp said that Heard's op-ed changed his whole life in the blink of an eye, uh, but the jury had given his life back. Now, Heard was not pleased with the verdict and said that she was heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. However, there is a really interesting wrinkle with respect to Amber Heard's potential appeal. Virginia law section 16.1-107 States, quote, no appeals shall be allowed unless and until the party applying for the same or someone for him shall give bond in an amount and with sufficient surety approved by the judge or by his clerk, if there is one, or in an amount sufficient to satisfy the judgment of the court. So in other okay. words, uh, for Amber Heard to be able to appeal, she has to post an, a bond for the entire amount of the judgment, millions of dollars, and that's no fun. And although people wow. talk about what precedent this verdict sets, what lawyers mean by precedent money. is different from how regular Holy people shit. often use that word. In the law, precedent is set in, uh, by published judicial opinions. Legally speaking, jury verdicts don't set any precedent whatsoever. You can't cite to the Amber Heard case and hope that some other uh, jury or judge will follow it. But if the case goes up on appeal and there mm -hmm. is a written opinion, that opinion would have precedential effect. That which makes is sense. one reason uh, potentially the parties might settle before the appeal is completed. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. They might just do it to get Elon's rid of gonna uncertainty with <laughs> what the court of appeal might or might not do. But no doubt, when this case goes up on appeal, you should read about it in today's sponsor, Morning Brew, because that's my favorite way to catch up with pop culture and the news. Is this I've actually like the been news subscribed thing? to Morning Brew for forever. It's one of my absolute favorite newsletters, and I'm thrilled to tell you why. Because Morning Brew, if mm -hmm. you didn't already know, is a free daily newsletter delivered Monday through Sunday. It gets you up to yeah, speed I on business, this. finance, tech, and law in just 
five minutes. I love how you can tell, like, which... Which audiences, like, which people have audiences of, like, younger people versus, like, adults. Because, like, there's, like, uh, NordVPN, so mom can't find out you're looking at food of porn again. Um, and, and then there's also, like, Raid Shadow Legends. And, and then, like, you have people that are a little bit older, and then those are, like, the ads for, like, Keeps and, you know, Rogaine and stuff. And then later on, it, it's, like, maybe you get into, like, actual, like, the content that's actually just made for adults. It's like, hey, here's how to find out about stock prices on your phone. It provides a fantastic like this is not a you know, important issue. This is not for 16 year olds and informative. And did I mention it's completely free? This week I learned all about why my stocks are going down. And then I learned more about why my stocks are going down. And oh my god, why are my stocks going down so much? I've heard but about I also that. learned about NFT insider trading at OpenSea, uh, I would US have never inflation, guessed. and the great American lifeguard shortage. It's basically exactly the mix of news that I'm actually interested in. And stuff I didn't even know that I wanted yeah, to. Yeah, would have never guessed that. It's all written in a hilarious style. Holy shit! Morning Brew is one of the few emails that I actually open every day. So, Legal Eagles, this one is a complete no-brainer. Morning Brew is completely free, and it takes less than fifteen seconds to subscribe. Yo, shout out Just for this guy. Just click that link on uh, screen right now, or in the description. Putting it at the end of the video. Morning Brew for free. And not only will you get a newsletter that you'll actually read, yeah, I think that's really uh, cool of him to do that. You'll actually help this channel too. So click on the link below to get Morning Brew right away. And while you're at it, click on this link with all of my other legal videos. So. Click on this link, or I'll see you in court. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that's actually like that. That's that's really cool that he did that because like a lot of people who um I'll, I'll link you guys a video. Uh, make sure to give it a like. I, I've I've seen like one or two of uh, of the legal legal videos. Uh, I think this is a pretty good one too, and uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, I actually do, and um I think it's a. As I said, it's it's really cool of him to put it at the end of the video. So it's like if people don't want to see it. Video's over, you can just move on. You know, it's like whenever I run ads at the end of my stream. Uh, that's cool, man. I like that a lot. But, um, yeah, I wanted to watch that real quick and uh, see kind of what his uh, his opinion on it is. But, uh, anyway, let's see. Is Vanity watching the whole trial? Defend a John, you ever abuse Amber? Well, can I say definitively? No, of course you can't say definitively. You can't know anything for sure. Like, I, I think that you might have believed that this was, like, some kind of, like, gotcha, that, like, you're going to push somebody in a corner. Like, you can never know everything to 100%. Absolutely not. But, yeah, anyway, uh, the, yeah, a good video. Pretty good summary. I like also the uh, actual legal insight, especially if she can appeal it or not. Uh, that was very useful.